What on earth is it? Rubber bands, aluminium foil, paper clips, staples. Goodness knows. But it does say I should place the lighted candle in this position here. So let's try that and see if anything happens. Isn't that amazing? Every time I place the candle underneath this piece of metal, it goes off like a fire alarm. Oh, in fact, it says it is. So you knew already. Hmm, would you like to make one? Well, you can, you know, and it all depends on putting some things together and remembering that metals expand when they're heated. Have you ever noticed with uh, railway lines that sometimes there are gaps in them, and in bridges also. This is the Adelaide University footbridge, and halfway across, there's a space, and in that space, there's a sort of metal comb. In the hot weather, the two halves of the bridge push together, and the comb comes very close together. In the cold weather, the two halves pull apart because it contracts when it's cold. Metals expand when they're heated, and for this little gadget, you'll need two different metals because different metals expand at different rates. One of the metals can very well be aluminium. And if you take an aluminium pie dish or cake dish and cut a strip that's about eight centimetres long and two centimetres wide, that's about the size of a, a man's middle finger, and uh, put that on one side and then get another metal. For example, copper from a piece of copper foil or brass will do, and you can get those uh, garden labels that are about the right size anyway. You take the two pieces of metal, you place one on top of the other, and then you staple them together with staples about a centimetre apart. And you can put some through from the aluminium side and some from the copper side, all the way along, until you have the two pieces firmly bound together. Then, here's one that's already prepared. Push that down with a, a thumb tackle or drawing pin through one end into a block of wood. And that is the important part, the most important part in the whole fire alarm. Watch what happens if I place a candle underneath this little strip that's sitting there all by itself. Now, those two metals will both expand when they're heated, but aluminium expands more than does copper. So what do you think will happen? It won't just be able to get longer, it'll have to do something. See if you can predict what will happen and then see if you're right. Here comes the flame underneath. Watch it carefully. You can see what it's doing. The end of it is bending up. It's bending up because the aluminium, which is on the bottom, expands more than copper, so the whole thing bends. That's called a bimetallic strip, and that's the basis of the whole fire alarm. Now, other things you'll need to do are to tape your two batteries together. Now, they can be large ones or small ones. Use masking tape or parcel tape to stick them firmly together. And then for wires, instead of using ordinary wires, I used aluminium foil. Little strips like this, um, about four centimetres wide. You fold them across towards the middle once and then twice and then a third time, and by the time you've folded them three times across, you end up with a, a little strip of aluminium foil that conducts electricity very well, and you can use that in place of wires. Now, you notice that I had a little thing that made contact with the bimetallic strip, and that was made out of an ice cream stick. What I did there was to carefully make two holes with a drawing pin, almost all the way through, but not quite, and then um, I could place the strip of aluminium foil across the top, push the drawing pins down through it, and I had a neat little contact like that. You have to be careful not to split the stick. Let's come back and have a look at the whole gadget and see how it all fits together. If we start with the bimetallic strip, you have a look and you'll notice that I've adjusted it so that there's a very, very tiny gap between the copper, the upper surface of the bimetallic strip, and the drawing pin. Tiny little gap, only about a millimetre. Now, when the uh, strip bends, watch what happens. It acts like a switch, pushes those two halves, those two pieces together, the light comes on and the buzzer goes as well. This happens because electricity flows from the battery, or the bottom of one of the batteries, along this strip, through the globe, uh, over the bimetallic strip, up through the drawing pin, back to the other end of the battery. I've also rigged it up so that electricity can flow from the bottom end of the battery through this little buzzer. You can buy those for about $1.30 from a, an electronic shop or a hobby shop, back to the bimetallic strip, up through the drawing pin, back to the battery. And so both things will happen. It's a fire alarm that'll give you a warning through your ears and also your eyes when there's a flame around.